you guys want to win some free Xbox PSN gift cards, all you gotta do is leave a like on this video, drop a comment down below, don't forget to subscribe for you, and don't forget to turn on notifications. Yo, what is up guys, it is Paddy Kills here, bringing you guys another NHL 18 video. So today's video, I promise you guys I will be making uh, the best sets to do and breaking down the sets in NHL 18, like all of these sets. Plus, I'm going to be doing Synergy Gloss Reveal, like all, all the synergies, that's going to be coming out later today. I also have a How to Make Coins. Best solo channels. I have a lot of tips and tricks video for you guys and uh, team build. So subscribe to my channel, guys. Turn on notifications. Don't miss an upload. Leave a like, guys. Twenty likes. You've been killing the support, man, and I truly, truly appreciate it. Now, uh, straight up going into this video, we obviously have the Centennial set. I actually already made a video yesterday talking about the Centennial set, so I'm not gonna break it down. If you missed that video, it'll be in the link in the description. Just go check it out, guys. It was a pretty good video. But first up, we got the hero sets. Obviously, um, we actually have. First of all, we actually have the two master heroes, and these are, you actually have to get hero collectibles. Now, let me break it down for you. Hero collectibles are earned by completing hero sets. So, every time you complete one of these hero sets, you will earn a hero collectible. And you can train 15 of these. It's kind of like the 99 Datsuk last year for a Yalmer Yager. So, the Yalmer Yager, uh, I'll show you guys the card too. Yalmer Yager, as you see, you need 15 collectibles. He's a 99 overall. We have a Ginla. I will go break those cards down and I'll tell you guys which one would be better. Now, going on to the heroes, we have GS and Jerry. Like, I already broke this down as well, but obviously you can like see how much you need, um, like how much of the items you need, and it's pretty sick. Um, Canucks one, all of these ones. So that's how to get the heroes. Uh, I, I don't really think I need to break down the hero set. But uh, I'm probably going to make a video about the top 5 heroes soon once I get enough coins. I have like no coins uh, as you guys can see. Like I haven't really played a hot match yet. I think I played like 2 matches of solo challenges. Uh, next up we have the Draft Champion set. This set is actually earned for playing Draft Champions. Every time you win a game you earn a collectible. And we actually have something pretty different. Uh, we actually have one for gold contracts. Train a Draft Champion collectible for 3 gold contracts. So if you're low on gold uh, contracts, just use this. I would probably stay away from this set, to be honest with you guys. I don't feel like you need to use this set. Uh, we actually have three for a bronze pack. I don't think you need to have a bronze pack. Uh, silver pack is six. Um, I honestly would stay away from these. I would not do these first three. And gold, this is what I think I would start trying to do. So we actually have ten draft collectibles for a gold pack. Now these gold packs are just like the regular gold packs. Honestly, if I'm you guys, um, I, this is kind of, I wouldn't do this one either. Like, I would do this one once you're done this. First of all, I just try to do these player ones. We actually have these player ones. I would not do any of these ones until I'm finished the player ones. So, we have Austin Matthews. We have Connor McDavid. We have Ekblad. We have McKinnon. And we have Yakupov. So, as you see, it's going to take you exactly 30 draft champion collectibles. 30 draft champion collectibles. No carbons, no gold. And it's for each one. We're going to be breaking down those cards and which would be the best one to do. Now, as of by the looks of it, um, we'll actually come back to that right now. But I would say the best one to do would probably be uh, the McKinnon. Uh, the thing about McDavid is, you already have an 85. If you pre-ordered the Young Guns Edition, you already have an 85 Connor McDavid rookie card. So if you actually have that, there's no point of buying another McDavid card or like using that. Because you already have an 85 overall rookie McDavid, and there's no need for me to buy this. Um, Matthews. Now, if you make your favorite team the Toronto Maple Leafs, there's no point of buying both of these cards. Now, if you don't have your favorite team as the Maple Leafs, then maybe you'll buy Matthews. So, like, for me, I made mine in Chicago. I'll probably buy uh, the Matthews. I'm currently either going to buy the Matthews or the McKinnon. That, uh, right now, that's what I'm saying. Um, so, if you had Toronto Maple Leafs as your favorite team and you have the Young Guns Edition, don't buy these two. Just go from these three. And, honestly, I wouldn't really buy Yakupov. He's an 85. Maybe his card's better. But I'd probably stick to the Nathan McKinnon. That's the one I'm actually buying. I'm either going to buy the McKinnon one or the Matthews one because I don't have Matthews' rookie card. I think I'm going to buy McKinnon's. He's really, really fast. He's got the speed. So that's that set right there. Now we've got the hot tips on. This is really straightforward. In your starter pack, you actually get these collectibles that are untradeable. Uh, and I already did mine. You actually trade in three of those hot tips that, like three of these uh, any hot tips ones, I'm pretty sure. And it's going to take forever to load. Like set store synergies, right? These ones you'll get from your starter pack. 
you just trade them in and you get uh, a pack which will give you more of these. So as you can see, I did that. I'll show you guys right now. Um, I searched my collection quickly. These are the, I have so many of them. I have like, like I think I have 12 right now. You'll get like 12 of them. As you see, you'll be getting 12 of them. So I have 12 of them. Now you open up gold packs. You can open up gold packs and actually get these uh, yourself, which is pretty sick. Um, as in, yeah, I just need three more. But then, I don't know what the special reward is. I think it might just be, like, some players you'd get. But I haven't really tried that. Somebody let me know in the comment section if you tried that. Um, but, honestly, that's the tips. Next up, we got the upgrade set. Just like last year, we can get player upgrade set. We'll go first look in this one. So, player upgrade set. We got bronze to gold player. We got trading 15 bronze players for a random untradable gold rare. Uh, then we got trading 45 bronze players for 3 untradables. Trading 75 bronze players for 5. And then trading 10 for 10 silvers for gold, trading 30 and trading 50. Now, would I do these? It depends. I'd probably do the bronze one first. Uh, honestly, I, I just say you can probably sell the bronze ones than rather doing these sets. You're probably going to get like pretty crap player. I'd probably do the 50 one first because like you just have so much untradable stuff. So if you have a bunch of untradable bronze players, then I'd do these sets. If you don't, I'll just go on the market and sell them to be honest with you. Because they're going to be, bronze silver is going to be worth quite a bit this year as they give you multiple synergy points. So I wouldn't really do these sets. Same with the silver one. I'll probably just do this one if you have 10 untradable silvers. I wouldn't really bother doing these sets. I, I, I'm pretty sure you're like wasting coins that you can get. Like you can just sell them on the market for coins. Get good value. Like I wouldn't really say that's the point. So that's honestly right there. You shouldn't do that. Um, and I'm just being honest with you. You shouldn't do those sets. Next up, we got the car collection uh, upgrade set. You know, you train five bronze collectibles for a silver collectible, just like last year. I definitely love the collectible design. Train ten um, bronze for a gold. Train five silver for a gold, and then trade in ten gold for a carbon. Now, if you do have a bunch of bronze collectibles, you can just snag it, get the silver, and then get the five silver. It's really easy. You can get gold collectibles in packs. And regular gold packs, uh, they actually take away the team information thing. So you can just get them in packs. They're pretty easy. And you, boom, you can get the carbon collectible. Um, very simple. There's nothing really to break down. Next up, we have the team item upgrade set. Just like last year, you can upgrade five exclusive jerseys. So these are like gold jerseys um, that you're going to get in packs for a um, for a exclusive jersey. Now, would I do this one? I probably wouldn't. Um, we got train arenas for a random arena logo present day. So it's actually really different from last year. Last year you can actually tr trade team items for collectibles. This year you can't, which to me is kind of stupid. I think they should have kept it. Like, who wants it? Like, I mean, exclusive jersey could be cool and that, but who would want that? Like, to be honest with you, I probably wouldn't want that. Now let's go like break down the cards that you'd be getting. Let's just go break down. The draft champion cards that you will be getting. Uh, quickly go break them down if you guys are pretty interested in them. Uh, we have Colorado right here. McCain. McCain card looks really dope to be honest with you guys. As you can see. Uh, that's the in McKinnon card. Really dope. Uh, I don't know any of the synergies. I will be breaking down the synergies in my next video. So don't worry. That's the McKinnon card. Um, I'll quickly show you guys the two Edmonton Oilers cards. We have Neil Yakpuff and McDavid. Um, Right there, we have uh, McDavid, and we got uh, Yakupov, so pretty decent cards. Uh, I want to see the the best type of cards. Uh, but honestly, guys, this is basically me breaking down the sets. I'll quickly show you guys Florida's. Uh, that's Aaron Ekblad, and then I'll go show you guys Toronto. Uh, but here's Ekblad's card, um, 85 overall defensive card. Pretty good card, to be honest with you guys. He's not the best type of card. Um, and I'll just go to Toronto quickly and show you guys the other type of card now i hope you guys did enjoy this video but here is um uh, uh pardon me i went to vancouver uh, it's supposed to be toronto i don't know what i'm doing with myself uh here you go um uh, here is the austin matthews now if you guys do want me to break down all the player ratings tell me but this is going to be the end of this video so i hope you guys did in fact enjoy this video if you guys did remember guys slap a like on it it'll mean the world to me like just leaving a like means a lot to me and subscribe if you guys are new click notifications to not miss a single upload of a video as always guys i will see you guys on my next video like subscribe peace out 
Uh, stay tuned for more NHL 18 videos today.